Hey there, fellow prospectors. Welcome back to Infinity Gaming. I'm IG, and in today's Icarus Guide, we're diving into the greenest update yet, literally. With the introduction of bees in week 112, we've got a sweet treat for you. The most optimal greenhouse build that takes advantage of the apicultural system. Let's create a thriving hive of crops, honey, and more. But before we jump into it, if you enjoy Icarus content and want to stay updated, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, let's get into it. As mentioned in the week 112 patch notes, Icarus unleashed a buzzing new feature, the apicultural system, complete with wild bees, beehives, and the art of bee breeding. We're here to show you the ultimate greenhouse design that integrates the beehive seamlessly. First off, the octagon shape provides the perfect symmetry for optimal space utilization. Now, let's break down the specifications. Our greenhouse stands three stories tall, equipped with one beehive centrally placed on the second floor. The beehive's radius extends 1.5 floor tiles in all directions, ensuring that all 74 crop plots receive the plus 150% crop yield boost. We've strategically placed 27 crop plots on the bottom level, 22 on the second, and 25 on the third. This gives us a total of 74 crop plots, which, considering the current 23 crop types in the game, averages to planting three of each crop with some extras. Efficiency at its best. Utilizing wooden crop plots, we've added the evergreen talent to eliminate concerns about withering crops. However, you can choose to use hydroponic or aeroponic crop plots for an additional plus 25% crop yield and plus 25% growth speed. Keep in mind, these advanced crop plots require REN currency for crafting, so choose wisely based on your resources. To power your hydroponic or aeroponic crop plots, we've incorporated two solar panels, providing a total of 10,000 power, more than sufficient for your crop's daytime growth. At night, the solar panels will shut off, but fear not, your crops will be ready by then. Step one, place a concrete beam in the ground using the compass as a guide. Step two, place an interior wood beam inside of the concrete beam off a 45 degree angle. Step 3. Convert the concrete beam to an interior wood beam and extend out horizontal interior wood beams two floor tiles out. Step four, add floors in the center. Step five, add concrete beams at the end of horizontal beams. Step six, add more concrete beams on the outer edges to go three-story high. Step seven, add glass walls all around.
Step 8, add floors and in crop plots. Step 9. Place the beehive on the second level in the center to get the maximum effect. And there you have it, the most optimal greenhouse built in Icarus. With this design, you'll witness your crops flourishing like never before. If you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. For more Icarus content and gaming goodness, subscribe to Infinity Gaming. Until next time, happy farming, prospectors. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. If you have specific builds or topics you'd like us to cover, drop your suggestions in the comments. Stay green, stay gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one.